What is up guys, Chronos here, welcome to Victoria's a Bitch. I mean, I mean, life is strange, yes. Let's continue with the game. I forget where we left off the last time. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, we headed out of the, 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 the dorm, I think. Anyways. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. So the two biggest assholes in schools have some kind of a dealings going on because they don't seem like they're, they're like antagonizing each other. They look like they're actually talking about something that actually matters to them and they're cooperating to actually uh, fix it. Fix it or, you know, whatever. Anyways, there's a seem maybe not friendly, but cooperative. So, uh, yeah. Oh no, not another music. Don't play another music. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another crappy ass music that's gonna flag copyright! Thank you very much, Life is Strange. With your dumbass music. Oh, jeez. Where are we going now? She's going to, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's going with Chloe's, right? Obviously, Chloe's not gonna pick her up every single time, so yes. She is going to Chloe's. Wow. So, these are all 3D models. Huh, must have taken some time to put that together. I know it because um, I used to work with uh, 3D uh, movie making sofas, and uh, yeah, very, very complicated process. I don't know if you guys remember the, the zombie thing, the zombie series that I was, was going to try, which I did uh, the first episode. That took gazillions of hours. So I know how pay. I mean, uh, this obviously is from a you know, large corporation, so they would have a team doing it. But either way, the whole process is ah, lighthouse. Ah, isn't that the same same place that we passed by? I think they used it again. They used it again. Ass wipes. Nah, just kidding. So are we going to Chloe's? Does Chloe leave uh, some? live somewhere nearby here didn't look like it four dollars and seven cents huh what is this it's a lot more expensive this must be something like uh, when was it 2008 2009 when uh, the gas prices were all the way up to four dollars well this in the east coast i know that the in the west coast was like five bucks i think talk about going back in time the diner looks exactly the same that's where the, uh, the, the, the Chloe's mother was. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. <laughs> You'd say he's old. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You better shut the lottery ticket up your butt. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I don't know. I just got off. Wow, she looks like a fucking ghost. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Exactly, where is it good? Jesus Christ. If you guys live somewhere like in Florida or North Carolina, you probably are better off because in New Jersey, everything is so freaking expensive. Oh my god, I'm complaining again, am I not? I'm complaining again! Chloe, rain late, mom will feed you. Somebody better... I'll be lucky if you make, if I, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's an open world. It's GTA. I don't want to go that way. Ah, it's GTA. Let me do whatever I want to do. Let me rob the bag. Let me steal a car. Yep. I'm ready to cash my lottery. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up, sir. Glad Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. All right, let's just try to uh, search dream of it. through the, uh, the parking lot. So, yeah, anyways, in New Jersey, man, dude, if your house costs about half a million dollars, then uh, you have to pay 
roughly about twenty, twenty-two, twenty-five thousand dollars property tax per year. And of course, that's you know. Stop that! Stop! I'm barking. I'm gonna make a hot dog out of you. There was something <laughs> creepy about that guy and his dog. Really? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Nice place to, uh, you know, to do some dirty this. All these uh, serial killers, you know, favorite toy, I'm sure. Damn, everything's so expensive nowadays. Everything is so difficult to make a freaking living. Look at all these flyers. Save our base. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the flight flood of Arcadia Bay. True that. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. <laughs> Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Your own boat? I'm sure. You did good. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Corporate fishing. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? They own my school. Do, Do you, know, you them? know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah, that's life nowadays, no? I mean, you got Walmart, which they say when a Walmart opens at a you know, local store, a local town, pretty much about 200 stores will have to go out of business because they couldn't possibly compete with Walmart. Oh, look at that. I could actually go here. Let me go talk to this guy. So, small business are are dying, we're just walking for Newspapers you know, are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was odd. How long have you lived there? Okay, I have no need to argue with him about snow. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I don't know. I like towns like that, small towns. I mean, you know, yeah, I prefer to live in a bigger town and uh, you know, have access to smaller towns or live in a small town or have easy access to a big town. But, uh, yeah, it's not a bad place to live. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Arcadia Bay, Joyce Price, Prescott family. Joyce, Joyce Price? Who the fuck was that? I don't remember. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. Oh. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. She's a nice woman. Married to a real prick. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Arcadia Bay. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. 
I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Be good to homeless people, guys. I mean, you know, you don't have to say necessarily be good, but uh, life is such that uh, you don't necessarily have to be lazy to become a homeless. Circumstances, you know, life is funny like that, you know, sometimes it's just throws your curveball and guess what one wrong step and you could become a homeless yes you know, it's easy like that it just happens but anyways uh we can go up here and i think we're done so let's just go inside the restaurant obviously they're not gonna allow me to uh, steal the cars and whatnot and I, and I hope you know i was hoping that i could but uh whatever let's just get in now another rachel amber Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. When she was Good here, Lord. I guess. Talk about apocalyptic. Why? Oh, Prescott development. Yeah, it's a problem, man. All these big businesses. It's not just video games. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. We might have gotten things a little more expensive, but guess what? People own things, people own businesses, they were their own bosses. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Okay, mister. What about you, lady? I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Some shit. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Ah! The developers did not think that you were important enough to make an actual cutscene out of you. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. I bet, I bet too. This guy has serious corners. What? Now try to learn to see my ocean voyage? Oh, okay. And? I might make Chloe check this out with me. Explore the wild woods. Uh, okay, so there's something that uh, she might actually uh, benefit from later on. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Hmm. Because <clears throat> something is actually going on with that uh, with that with that forest. In the forest. Look, flush before pissing on floor. <laughs> that graffiti has been here forever. Very nice. Rachel A. Oh, hold on. Gross. Owes me a BJ. <laughs> ah? Photo? What, what does it say? Fire walk with me? Does, is that what it says? Fire walk with me? Arcadia Gay sucks Thank you, that. redneck poet. Awesome! And what about you, sir? Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. So the whole town's kind of fucked up right now, huh? With the economy and everything. Trevor. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Dana's room? Did I? Did I see him? Really? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? 
I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Okie doke. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Uh, I am. Not yet. I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Is that the kid who was uh, skateboarding? I, I don't mem remember. Uh, both said no, not yet. We're not done yet. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Why did Looks you fun. not? I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos, but no fucking way. So I could actually use this? Banjo tune, guitar tune. Uh, I like guitar. Look. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. And... What is this? <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. The good old days, huh? Not anymore. I think we can go in here. No. Now, Joyce looks like she's in the... Uh... Drool. Want everything. Hmm. We're gonna talk to these guys and then have a seat. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on uh, the road. Not really. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Asshole! Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Like you're doing so much better. Actually, he is. A lot of the truckers earn six-figure income, so yeah. He is. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over oh, now. Dog. Officer? That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Why? She, if if Joyce is that cool, like an alpha female, what the fuck is she putting up with that David guy, that idiot? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Fuck no. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Ah, we can talk about shit now, huh? Ah, I want to know about David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We <laughs> know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious, he has a reputation. Let's probe a little bit. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Chloe. Let's talk about Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Mm. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. I mean, who told you? Must be David. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. 
I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she hey. a friend of yours? Hey. Uh, I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Ah, uh, she can be. No. No. She can be. She can be. She really can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Hmm, okay. Can we talk to her from here? No. Looks like I have to take a seat in her for her to come. Have a seat, Max. Joyce will come, take your order. So is this Joyce's restaurant? I bet she's just working here. I mean, she owes a lot of money. It seems like she does have business, so obviously rent cannot be that expensive in this town. So yeah, she, she can't be the owner. She just and there be. she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell my karma you did the right thing you moved forward with your life I did after William passed on Chloe Chloe chose to stay angry anyway I hope we see more of you Chloe needs an old friend again Joyce I am so sorry about William I have great memories of him I'm glad Max that was his gift to us wonderful memories even if Chloe doesn't understand yet I think she does. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. So oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? Oh, do I ask about this? Do I ask about this? What the fuck? All right, I will. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? What do you got? Bacon omelet. Oh yeah, I'm going bacon omelet. 
Definitely. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I really was a bacon omelet. Oh god, I, I didn't eat good today. I had shit. Uh... One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. <laughs> Warren. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Five fifty, six two five, six fifty. Uh, on the, it's definitely on the uh, uh, cheaper side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Diner that I go to, uh, Homestead egg and, egg and bacon it would be somewhere along the line of eight fifty. So small time prices, baby. Small time prices. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Yeah, drink some. Enjoy the coffee. Have some beer and bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. She rolls. Uh. What else? Oh, I think she's coming. Okay, so there wasn't anything that I had to do. It's just I can hear your stomach the... rumbling from here, Max. I'm hungry. Here, I'm, really you love it. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, speak of the devil. <laughs> she here? Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. <laughs> you only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? You don't like it? I selected it. Guitar tune. The fuck, Chloe? Now that that's out of the way. Okay. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, oh. I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. So after okay, she does Max. that... Impress me. I rewind time. Tube of glitter. Chewing gum. Well, let's just start with the, uh, the, the, the X keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, go with the first. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, right. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. And I'm going to rewind and guess it right. Oh, that was she, beyond that? epic fail. Come on. You made me want to believe you. Let me see, let me see. What the fuck? You gotta let me see. Ah, there you go. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Alright, panda bear keychain, cigarettes, and uh, oh my god, you're gonna tell me. Uh, so she's got three quarters, uh, the six pennies, and a nickel. Three quarters, six pennies, and a nickel. Warning ticket. I'm sure I don't need the uh, the detail. Maybe they, maybe I do. Jesus Christ! Look at that. It's written in red. I'm sure I need the detail. 921. All right. Let's 21. rewind time and uh, get this thing done correctly. There so you go. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. So you've got. Let's start with the keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. Uh, panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? 
And cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? <laughs> Shit! I, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I think there was... Uh, there weren't 13. I think there were like 6 or 7. I'm gonna go with 7. 7 cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. <laughs> Something cool. else in my pockets? Yes. You have money. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Give me the... Oh, you're gonna make me, uh, okay, that was, uh, 75 cents, uh, 81 cents, plus one, 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck! You have powers! I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. I want some How's of that. Food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry that. like the wolf. Clearly. Hungry like the wolf. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, okay, so. pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Joyce comes out, she waves, she goes Bitch. to... Oh. Did you break another cup? Really? Cup, no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. He gets a call. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Car leaves. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. They fight. And a new gal comes in. Is that all? That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So you, what are you waiting for? Are you fucking now I should kidding rewind me? and tell Chloe everything that just happened. You're gonna tell me to say that all of them in order. Are you telling me that? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, what's the choice? Joyce drops her plate. No, Tr Trevor drops his glass. No, tr trucker, 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 trucker. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So what happens next? Alert the cop on radio and leave. Any answers? And he eats Donald. And his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And just in, in trouble fight, and Joyce beats them. He does, she doesn't beat them. And Joyce doesn't care. Joyce stops them. Joyce encourages them. She doesn't beat them. She stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the last one, jukebox looks crazy. It does. Flying lands on it as a butterfly. That I didn't see. Oh shoot! As the trucker plays the news, no, there was nobody there. Goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. I didn't see that. Jesus, I'm just gonna go with the uh, uh, cockroach. Somehow I feel like that that would the be the jukebox one. goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. And we'll find out if I was right. I, I know that I was right about the, the the first three choices. I'm not sure about Oops. the last one. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. 
You put yes. the cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never <laughs> happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. I knew this would happen when she uses too gadget. much. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You know how the, the graphic change is red when she uses the power sometimes? When it, Chloe when it finally believes me. When it and I wonder what kind of much. crazy shit she has in mind now. Yep, I think that's uh, what's happening. I think we could just leave. The rest of the people we spoke to already, so you know Okay, what? Yeah. Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what we do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Well, the business with Chloe is not all that important, but then if I don't go with her, she's going to get mad. I was away from her for a long time, but then Kate Marsh is definitely in some kind of a trouble, and also David has a picture of her. I need to answer this. I'm sorry, Chloe, but I am, I am answering this. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are Jealous ridiculous. much? I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. That girl's got some issue, dude. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Uh, it's no. not like I won't see her in class later. I think I needed to take that call. Leave the diner. Leave the diner. Oh shit. The creepy dude. He's watching. Isn't that the guy from the, uh, the, the trailer? Well, anyways, guys. Uh... I think I played way too long. I got way too into it. And uh, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 minutes. I have no idea, but uh, that's enough. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Cross out.